welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I will be reviewing the Hobbycraft Gold Taclon brushes and if you would like to see this review in real time you can check out my Patreon which is linked down below from $3 a month and you'll get to see my Friday YouTube videos not only in real time but early access. So that's all linked down below so to the video. This is a pack of four synthetic brushes. It comes for £230, which is about 57p each. And it's only sold in Hobbycraft. So this is a UK store, just in case you're international. Um, this is just a UK store, as far as I'm aware. And this is a really good set. So the sizes are 12, 8, 6, and 3. And what's really nice about these brushes, uh, even though it's so cheap, it comes to such a good point that most of the time I only really use my 12 size brush and sometimes I might bring in the three. Um, but because it comes to such a fine point, you can pretty much use just one brush, which is why I like to use the 12 because when I'm doing like washes and stuff, I can do a big wash, but then do some detail. And you'll see in the swatches that I make, I'll just be using some chalky um, watercolor cakes for the swatches. You can see the, the um, line variation and the points I'm able to make with these brushes. And there'll also be photos at the end of the video as well. So it comes to a really good point. It looks a bit worn, like when it's dry, but once it's wet, it go goes to a really nice point. It's also a very juicy brush, especially the 12. So it holds a lot of water, which is perfect for when I'm watercoloring. Um, because then I can make nice kind of like loose paintings and it just, I don't have to keep on like re-adding water or keep on dipping back into my, um, like my wash mixes because it's so juicy i can create i can cover quite a bit of area just with um one like dip of water which is great um so yeah these are actually i'm i was pleasantly surprised i've had these for i think around six months maybe more and i'm pleasantly surprised at how well they've lasted they don't drop any bristles they did drop a few when like i first used them probably the ones that just weren't very glued on properly but um they don't drop any bristles now and that's absolutely brilliant because paintbrushes that drop bristles as far as i'm concerned aren't good because it's just it's kind of irritating to work with um they have a wooden handle which means that you really shouldn't leave them in water you shouldn't do that with your brushes anyway because it can damage the bristles and if you leave your paintbrushes in water like the wood might expand and it it'll fall apart or like the glue in like the barrel will also kind of like fall apart too so you really don't want to do that and the best way i find to look after my brushes um it does have some brush care on the packet it comes in you actually saw like it's kind of like a a bit of a, a thick ziplock kind of packet which is perfect for traveling because you can put like your paint brushes in this space for like a pencil maybe like a rubber maybe like a sharpener but you can always put a mechanical pencil in there and then you can just like grab your paints and you're good to go i haven't used it out and about but it's quite sturdy packaging so so that you can use it out and about so whenever i like would go out and about i would definitely take like maybe a couple of the brushes and um yeah that'll be perfect so i really like it that it comes in that pouch um but yeah so the way i look after my brushes is i have my water bucket it has like a few like sections so i have like a dirty spot where i wash off in first and then i wash off in a second um pot of water and that makes sure it's nice and clean now if you're using like acrylics and stuff you really should like wash it with soap i don't really do that but it's probably best though these brushes are specifically for watercolor and gouache i don't like to use um the same brush for different mediums now so what i do plan to do is um at some point purchase another set and this set i'm using now i'll probably just move over to my acrylics because i do need some good round brushes in that area and then the new set i can use um for watercolors and gouache and um, I have used it with ink, which is why some of them are slightly stained. And I don't think ink is too damaging. Again, as long as you wash it really well. But um, I would recommend just kind of separating your brush brushes like per medium so that um, it just doesn't get damaged too quickly. Though if you can't, like if you can't afford to buy a bunch of brushes for like the different mediums you have, just make sure and wash them regularly. You can get some brush cleaners. I don't use brush cleaners, but um I would recommend that you know you can 
make sure just to wash it very well don't leave it sitting in your water don't let paint dry on it and your brushes should last you a long time because these are pretty cheap but i think as well because i um look after it so well it's lasting me a long time so you'll probably have already seen quite a few of the swatches by now you can see the size variants the 12 is nice and big so it's great for washes and you can also get some nice details as well as long as you hold it like vertically and um don't put too much pressure you can get a really nice point the size 8 and size 6 are kind of similar i mean there is a slight size difference and then the 3 is quite small compared to like the size 6 and you can see like even with the bigger brushes you can get quite a nice fine point and um i'm able to get quite a few different textures from it as well so depending on what i'm doing like if i'm doing a mountainous landscape i like to kind of dry brush and you'll see i don't know if it's there yet because i can't see what's going on in the video but at some point on the other page i'll show you like some dry brushing um, it's also great for like if you want to doodle with paint because it comes a nice fine point you could do things like mandalas and stuff like that it's great for calligraphy too like I don't really do calligraphy that often but if I'm doing a card and I want to do like a sentiment I will do the sentiment in like a kind of calligraphy style and it's really good for that I think I use the size 8 or 6 to do that hello which you'll see at some point and I just did it quite quickly, but you can do it a lot neater and get some really nice fine strokes there. So it's really nice to paint with. And you'll, I'll also do like a little bit of a mini landscape and you can see like different ways I'm able to create texture um, to create the landscape. So I really like doing like a flicking um, technique to get like some really nice kind of grassy strokes and stuff like that. But yeah, these brushes are great. The price is great. The quality is great, especially for the price. I'm really surprised at that. It's um, I will link the listing on Hobbycraft down below. I'm not sponsored or anything. This is just, um, I bought these myself. It's my own opinion. I'm not sponsored, but I just really wanted to recommend these brushes because I really do find they're great and they're really nice to work with. So... Um, I will link that down below. You can let me know like what's your favorite brush brand or like what's also what kind of affordable brushes you like to use because I really like these round ones but I would love to be able to maybe get some more floppier, bushier brushes to like try different watercolor techniques so I really want to look into that but at the moment these are great for what I want to do. They're really nice um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the different swatches and everything and i hope this really showed what they can do there will be a photo there will be photos as well as a close-up of the swatches at the end of the video so you can take a closer look so you don't have to worry about pausing the video um and yeah so thanks for watching if you enjoyed please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already please don't forget to click that bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video i upload every friday around 12 p.m on youtube so if you would like to see more of my videos please click that bell i want to thank everyone who is already subscribed and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and another thank you to my patrons. There will be a shout out for those in the Griffin tier. And I think that's it. So thanks again for watching. If you have any other questions for these brushes, please let me know in the comments below. I will gladly answer them. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.